check, mic check, mic check. You good? Mm-hmm. Good, man. Good. You sure you're not nervous? No, I'm all right, man. You sure? Right, it's new, it's sad. Okay, it's cool. Man. We're in, by the way. Okay. We're in, by the way, so, yeah. Um, yo, Carrot Attack Podcast with myself, Daps. Guys, keep liking, subscribing, sharing. Um, those of you who listen via audio, this will be the first you're hearing my voice this year. Those who look at YouTube, obviously you've seen my face already. But um, yeah, guys, keep liking, subscribing, sharing, man. Happy New Year to those if this is the first you're hearing of me. Um, I think this year, like I said, there's going to be quite quite a bit of um, content for you guys. Last year, I think I only had about 12 or 13 players, which is still quite a lot, which is like the lowest I've had in about four years. I normally average about 20 to 25 players a season but this is going to be the f- i mean a year sorry this is going to be the first one of this year guys can make sure you like subscribe share all of that good stuff first one we've got young boy coming through mm-hmm. championship player currently on loan from um wolves um i've been trying to get him on for a while but he took like he took ages to follow me back <laughs> that comes some joke man Get me. So age to follow me back. Why did you? Why did you take someone to follow me back? I don't. I don't probably didn't see it at the time. Yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not respect. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. But yeah. No. Nah, um. We got Dexter Lembekisa. Did I say it right? Lembekisa. Yeah. Lembekisa. Yeah. Okay. Where's that? Is that like? I know. It's obviously, half Jamaican. Congolese. Oh, Congolese. Yeah. DLC. Uh, what, what to come out? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. It's funny though. I saw a post today yeah. actually about um, because obviously the Afcon's coming up. And yeah. I saw a post about, do you follow 360? Uh, yeah. 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 I saw they put up, a, oh, it might have made you think actually, mm. put up a post of players that, um, if they played for Congo. Yeah. How they play. look, so they got in, in Cuckoo. Yeah. Um, what's it? What's it? Was it? Badia Chile. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's that? Dis, Disassi? Is that his name? Disassi. Yeah. Chelsea. Yeah. 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 Disassi. That was another one. Kimpembe? Kimpembe. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, rah, where? Yeah, there's a lot of man still. They're defenders though. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you, your bones are made out of something else. Like. <laughs> Strong. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, no, no. How you doing though, man? No, I'm good. I'm good, thank you. Um, Obviously, it's, it's a new challenge for me this season. Mm. You know what I mean? Just getting used to it. But I've enjoyed it so far. It's been tough. You know what I mean? Like, especially with the position, the position where he was, mm. where we are. So, but I feel like it's a lot of learning, like, which is good for your first mm-hmm. like experience for a professional football. But other than that, I'm good. Life outside of football is good as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. You know, what was it like? What's it like for you now? As like, obviously you're um, full blooded professional footballer now, mm. no longer like academy player. Yeah. So, how has life even changed for you in regards to you being a young boy? From ends South London, obviously. Come on, and like, mm-hmm. what's it been like? You now making that transition to senior football, mm-hmm. and it, it not even like on the field, like off the field. What's yeah. it been like for you? Um, well, off the field, obviously, you have to think more about where you're going and um, the people you're with and your influence. I'd say as well, because mm-hmm. like I think about um, when I come. The, the kids on the state where I'm from, they see my dad and they're like, oh, that's, that's his dad. Mm. But like, you don't like realise like that they know you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you, you see like, you realise the influence you have and of course, um, you know that like, this is your career, like, you need to take mm-hmm. it seriously, do you know what I mean? So like, things like, of course we're young, like, sweets and mm. chocolate and all of that, <laughs> like, you start to think about it a little bit more, do mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, you're, you're getting older. I say you're getting older. older. You're 20. <laughs> nah, nah. Like, not like you're getting older, but like you're progressing into the professional game where mm. like these margins are, yeah. are important. You mm. know what I mean? So stuff like that. But other than that, not much. Not much. Not much, you know. No. Yeah. Still okay. young, as you said. That's so, it. That's yeah. it. You're still young. Wait yeah. till you hit 21 and that you start going, Miami and no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. How was your um Christmas and New Year's? Obviously. Yeah. Oh, is this was this your first time having like to be in? For, were you in for Christmas? I think I was I know I was I was off this Christmas. Oh, I was off this Christmas. Oh, okay. I think last year I was in for Christmas. Mm. I think because I, I think we had to like support the first team 
Yeah. But um, definitely this period, like, there were bad games. Mm. Like, we had a lot of games, New yeah. Year's and Christmas, and mm-hmm. that's kind of new. But, like, I try not to think about it. Because I yeah. think about it all the time, like, oh, I'm tired, do, 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 do. you know what I mean? Mm. But, um, yeah, it's, it's interesting, do you know what I mean? But my my parent, my my mom and my brothers came up okay. to see me up in Chef, so mm. it was... It was good, you know, to have them around for a bit. I don't even know whether it's like in Sheffield. It's like 20 minutes away. Oh, okay, I drive okay, okay. 20 minutes apart. Okay. Um, do, you, do you not drive yet? Man, I don't know how to drive. Oh, okay, I have, to, I, have to, I have to ask you a question. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you're pulling up in that Uber Deluxe, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> nah. When you're pulling up in that Uber Deluxe, I'm like, oh, maybe he doesn't know how to, how to drive. <laughs> I have yet. to whip it, probably. Nah, nah I drive, but... Um, do you drive up there? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. So it's not, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's quick, like. Mm. Not like London traffic everywhere. And what was that actually like for you in regards to like um having all of those games now? Mm. Do you actually feel like tired? Obviously you're young, you can go two, three games in a week or whatever, but mm-hmm. do you notice a difference in regards to recovery and how you're feeling after the games? Um I think you notice it like when you play the game and then when you go into the next game. Mm. For me personally, that's when I when I notice it, like, yeah, my legs mm. are a bit sore. When you go to do something, but like after the game, you're tired, but it's just normal. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. And then you do your eyes, but recover, you feel calm. And then in the next game, you feel like, oh, you need to push harder like, mm-hmm. through the, them barriers because it's like that's when you feel it. Do you know what I mean? But mm. yeah, definitely, definitely feel it, but try not to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what and I mean? what probably doesn't help is um, <clears throat> not even like no disrespect or whatever, but obviously Rotherham aren't doing too well right now. So a lot of games you're probably up against it yeah. quite a bit so it's yeah. probably heavier on, on, on the legs and and what's that been like for you and we're going to come on to Robin properly but mm-hmm. just in terms of now you're obviously you've obviously come through and you ne- probably never experienced anything like this fighting at fighting at the bottom but yeah. what what's that like for you in terms of <clears throat> mentally getting through matches seeing how hard these men these men really need to try because a lot of these men are playing for like mortgages and, yeah. and stuff like that like what is that what is that like for you yeah i feel like it was interesting because like at the start of course i was like we need to win games we need to win games like, mm. I, it was on me it was on my mind you know what i mean i was like i was motivated to win games but when you focus so hard sometimes it's just it's not it's not good for you when you when you're playing or whatever whatever so i think at the start i was like oh win 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 but then i thought okay let me enjoy being where I am in this loan and let everything else come. But of, at the start, I was getting a bit on the stress side. Yeah. And I realised I need to um, just relax. Mm. And what was stressing you? Like just not getting results. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like no one wants to lose and lose and lose. Do you know what I mean? Or nearly win and lose. Because a lot of the games like against the bigger teams, we played well. Yeah, but we just the, lost that, yeah. that like end of the game mm. and stuff like that so um it actually happened there was there was a couple of times like through um other people and um through watching a sermon where i was stressed and then i watched the sermon and it was mm. it was about enjoy being in god's grace mm. more than um you enjoy winning yeah or more than you enjoy being right mm-hmm. and then a coach would tell me relax like yeah so there was a lot of confirmation through that um, by the grace. So I just I just began to relax more. But of course, at first it was like, like what's going on? Like, yeah, do you know what I mean? Because like I've been in an academy where you're you're, you're losing a, a couple of run of games, but not like not, this, not, not, not like this. And then it's like the pressure of this is proper football. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. but surprisingly, I thought it'd be more toxic i don't know why like in the change room like okay. in these times i thought it'd be more toxic mm. but the boys are like they they, they keep a good spirit mm. you know i was I mean? gonna ask about the spirits within the club because sometimes when you can be all right so coming through academy academy spirit i can imagine it's just what it is isn't it? do you know what i mean whereas when you're coming into you know senior football men's football when you've got so many different egos so many different you know character types i can imagine that you know sometimes it could be a bit toxic in there like you said considering you know you're at the bottom losing there's not real no 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 real team harmony but at rotherham right now 
have you like what is it really like is it one of those where it's just like guys look we're down here but we're gonna graft and we're gonna fight and we're gonna push on or is it one where it's just like you know backs to the wall just kind of you know don't know don't really know what's happening yeah i thought i thought it was gonna be toxic mm. but like we know obviously it's a long season mm-hmm. do you know what i mean and um anything can happen in the season so the the boys are more like let's carry on keep doing the things that we can do mm-hmm. we could control yeah and then whatever happens happens after that but we need to keep trying our best keep together as well they, they talked about unity a lot so just just staying together and doing what we can do and then just mm. seeing you know yeah and, and your manager right now like <clears throat> what does he kind of say to you guys in regards to where improvements can be made like how how does he see you guys um like imp- yeah, improving basically and turning things around and climbing up that table um I'd say a lot like he talks about um running and fighting again the things that we can control mm-hmm. do them and then um I'd say a lot of the time we were playing well or holding off a team like um doing well and then a little error individual mistake mm. will cost us a little lapse of concentration costs us like a point or a game we should have won mm. and we ended up losing mm. i think he said just that and getting those details and those mistakes out mm. that's what um he thinks would, would help us more you know yeah because it's it's actually like <coughs> margins because you know especially once you get to championship premier league obviously more so premier league mm. like mistakes are crucial do you know what i'm saying and Definitely. and you've probably seen now like whereas in academy football a lot of mistakes probably don't get punished as much as they should. 100. Have you seen literally like 100. mistakes now? Will, they will punish yeah, you. Yeah, hundred. It's happened to me. Um, even at when I was playing for Wolves as well, like little little bits, and even little bits from everyone mm. together makes the makes a makes something. So I've definitely seen it. I've experienced it for myself. Seen it with other players. Seen it with the team. So mm. yeah, definitely. I think as you go higher. It's yeah. even less, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah, for real. Yeah. Um, okay, but Rotherham as a club, you've obviously gone there. You've settled in well. Um, what is it about Rotherham that has made you settle in? Whether it be the fans, whether it be the club, you know, manager, or players, like, or do you think it's just? No, nah, I'm, I'm not going to say it. it's just down to you. Like, what has it been? Um, I'd say, I'd say a lot of the players because. There's a lot of people from everywhere. There's a lot of London boys, Manchester, Liverpool, like there's boys from everywhere. And then there's there's also youngsters. There's also a few lone players. Mm. So it's like you can relate and they're like everyone's I think Rotherham, the team, us, like that's a good bunch. Do you mm. know what I mean? So I think it's just them as a pe- as a people, you know. Mm. And they've they've helped me to um to settle in I think as well like they've been in tough positions they don't give up yeah and they know that they need to we need to be together Mm -hmm. and on board so I think that's helped definitely and did you think that you going out on loan to Rotherham did you feel like you'd settle in this you know just like you have and were you when you first went there Mm -hmm. how nervous were you when you first went to the club I was I was nervous but I wasn't like crazy nervous. Mm. I knew that um, cause obviously I believe in God. So Come on. Praying. I knew it would be okay. You know, but obviously it's new. It's like you're just walking into a new club. Mm. You know what I mean, so it's like, it's a bit nerve wracking, but um, it was okay. It was okay. It was okay. You know? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then when you, when you call the, the gaffer before you go, like you get a bit relaxed, like the gaffer has, has a vision and faith in you, whatever. So, mm. It's it's more calming, you know. It was, I, I wasn't too nervous, I'd, I'd say. How did the move even come about? So, you know, <coughs> you'd obviously made first team appearances mm-hmm. for Wolves, right? Yeah. And then was it was it a thing in the summer where the manager was like, "We're going to send you out alone," or the coaching team, "We're going to send you out alone," or did you kind of be like, "Look, I want to go out on loan." Um, I knew I wanted to go out on loan, and because I don't think that. I was going to play yet for Wolves, you know. Mm. 
So if, if that wasn't the case, I definitely wanted to go out on loan. Um, and I think it was the, the staff that thought, yeah, let's get him out on loan. Let's mm. get him playing games, you know, mm. some, some professional games. So I think it was a mixture, mixture of both. But I was still young. So I thought, like, if I stay and around the first team at Wolves a bit, it's mm. not it's not bad, like, mm. you know what I mean? But even if I go as well, it's good, mm. like, so... I wasn't too like, oh, let me go, let me go, let me go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I think they wanted me to go. They yeah. Wanted me to play because they knew it would be good for me. No, 100%. I, I feel like when you're at that age, mm. between 18, you can kind of get away with it, 19, get away. But I think once you start hitting 20, mm. 21, I feel like first team football is, is vital. Yeah. So, you know, because in, in academy football, there's only so much you can there's only so much you can do in, in under 23s there's only so much you can experience mm -hmm. and the gap between that football and men's football is so big that I just think that it's good that people just go out and get games and back themselves so it's good to see you going out there and backing yourself yeah. I was a bit surprised when I saw the move I'm not gonna lie yeah. I was saying to Bob I was like oh Bob he's gone um, he's gone rather him and I was surprised because I I just thought he was gonna be in and around the first team to be honest at White Wolves yeah. but now that you've come to Rotherham, now that you've gone to Rotherham and you've settled in, you're playing well, um, have you seen the talk about, you know, um, other clubs being interested in you and will maybe recalling you and then sending you out to someone higher in the in the league? Mm -hmm. And if you have seen, I don't want you to confirm or deny, don't, don't do that. But how, how does it make you feel when people external to you are seeing your performances and there is there's even talk yeah. forget about confirming or denying we're not we don't do that here mm -hmm. but or you can tell me off the off the pod. <laughs> but yeah how, how does that make you feel knowing that you know you're putting in good performances um definitely happy definitely mm. like people are noticing obviously it's not all you live for but like to see people are, are seeing you're a good player and you're performing well mm. like it's nice it makes you feel nice to be honest um i don't look at it too much because I want to focus on where I am mm -hmm. now, doing what I need to do now, mm. and then all of that will sort itself out after. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, agent will sort itself out. Like, mm. do you know what I mean, so, but definitely seeing that, it makes you makes you happy. Yeah. You know, yeah, no, no, it's it's good, but I mean, you much rather that than <coughs> than people tell you to get out of their club. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm saying, yeah. but um, sure. okay, so obviously you are on loan from Wolves, mm -hmm. right? So, what was it like first breaking? through at Wolves yeah in terms of making your debut I remember your debut as well yeah. because um, in my group chat obviously some, some of my boys who yeah. you know Jamal yeah uh, Bobby yeah you know Rick yeah yeah yeah, Ricardo. Ricardo. yeah, Ricardo. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so we're all in the thing so when you were on the bench I think it was yeah um, it was the bench first right yeah. Bobby put um he put you in the group and it's like yeah Yo, guys Dexter he's, he's he's on the bench and yeah. and whatnot and I was just like yeah man whoever he is cool and then <laughs> and then I started um, following you and then Bob was just like yeah no nah, he's a good player and mm -hmm. and then I watched the game when you came on and you did well man you didn't look mm. out of place was this all. the um Carabao Cup yeah the Leeds yeah 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 nah, yeah so, I done, done well that's still too Oh yeah, oh, cool, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so so what was it like actually coming on and you know just making your debut? It's mad, mm. it's mad. Like it's your dream, like. yeah. And like obviously, it's, you've not completed it, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. you're doing it now. Like mm -hmm. it's mad. Like I was praying, praying, praying. Whenever I was on the bench, mm. I was praying, praying, praying. Mm. You know what I mean? So I can be calm, relaxed, knowing that God is with me. Yeah, and um, I was just excited as well. Like coming on that Molyneux, I like Molyneux as well. Molyneux is nice, like mm. stadiums, nice, like fans and that, like it's crazy. Do you mm. know what I mean? So it was, it was mad. And then when I got on, I was happy as well the way, I because my first action was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you I, always want to start good. Mm -hmm. And I remember the coach was telling me, like, play forward. Mm. James Collins, James Collins, and Steve Davis at the time, they were telling me to play forward. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So. I thought, let me get the ball, go forward. You know what I mean? So, mm. it's. I think it makes it much simpler and easier because there's less risk when you play forward as well. So, I think uh, so. Yeah, there's there's a there's better safety man that just always go back or or side even from fullback. Nah, I hear you, but like, I think 
when because before as well, like James Collins in twenty ones, I like to he's a good coach. Like mm. he was teaching us to not just play like football, just mm. to play. Mm-hmm. He said go forward with the ball. Mm-hmm. Um go mouth action. That's yeah. what he says, you know. So um it was like that's familiar to me. Mm. So when he said go forward, enjoy. Yeah. I just No, I I, mean, I definitely a- agree with that though. Mm-hmm. The the reason why I was I was a bit surprised is because not 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 surprised let me say is because a lot of for a lot of players you want them to play forward but mm-hmm. a load of players are actually safe so for you to say it's like the safer option it, yeah. it just goes for like it just goes to show mentality yeah, and, and that's yeah. a good thing where you know your first pass is always forward mm-hmm. and you know anyone that plays in front of you <coughs> or whatever they're gonna appreciate that because yeah. I think one of the um, gripes that you know strikers or midfielders might have with with um, other or forward players might have with like people giving them the balls that's like, not coming quick yeah. enough do you get what I'm saying like, yeah, yeah. we were talking just before that obviously I support Arsenal mm-hmm. and I feel like one of the problems Arsenal have now mm-hmm. is that from midfield yeah. they don't play forward quick enough okay. and you know obviously when party comes back in mm-hmm. get me because Declan Rice as much as I love him he's not really anyway that's, that's, that's a conversation <laughs> for another day but um, yeah so it's, it's really good that you like to play forward on, on the front foot yeah Definitely. What would you say your strongest like attribute is? You know what it is? I'd say 1v1s in general. Mm. But I think my defending side is slightly stronger. That's the South London, you know, that yeah. like playing in cages and that. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. But 1v1s, I'd say, say one thing, 1v1s as a whole. Mm. But yeah, I like, I like 1v1s. Yeah. I like them, you know. Where do you see yourself in regards to just wanting to I mean right now would you say that all you're truly focused on is just performing as well as you can and then worrying about the whole wolf stuff in the summer maybe yeah mm. like obviously it's here and there you think about it but my main focus is to play well mm-hmm. enjoy mm. when you're enjoying your your you're gonna play well mm-hmm. you know so um I always think as well play play for the glory of God honor the opportunity and the gifts he's given you mm-hmm. some people don't have that do you know what I mean and then that looks like taking a risk yeah showing what you have mm-hmm. stuff like that and you notice as well when you don't do it yeah you know, when you play work like do you know what I mean so just enjoying my football and playing well I, I want to do that you know? obviously I have certain targets goals and assists and all of that stuff mm-hmm. but I think when you focus on enjoying playing well um it will come together think as a kid as well like mm. you always think I always think back as a kid if I felt like a off game I think about like how was I as a kid I didn't care I was just playing like and, that's and when, I want to get yeah. back to that mentality every time I'm on the pitch you mm. know and it's it's so it's so like refreshing <coughs> to hear you say that because I feel a lot of the time and it's not just like now it's I feel like that's always been the case mm. the player that got someone signed or noticed that, that carefree player mm. they get older and they kind of lose that yeah so for you to say that you want to keep that and, want and maintain it yeah is rather than just become you know a version of yourself that is still good but it's not really like yeah yeah, yeah like, I, I, I hear that sometimes it's hard in it because you think pressures managers players whatever whatever you have different pressures but it's better off you do it that way mm. just enjoy it, playing you know yeah you enjoy your career but i think and then like you won't regret you won't regret not doing what yeah. you can do. You know yeah. what I mean? I think that one of my regrets was so I didn't enjoy I didn't enjoy it when I got signed as much yeah. as I should have. Yeah. And I didn't get signed until I was twenty one. I wasn't playing Academy of Football. Okay. So yeah. I got signed from non league and then Yeah. So yeah. like when I look at that, I'm like, do you know what? Like I wish I enjoyed it more. Mm. But I put so much pressure on myself because you talk about coming from going from academy to men's football, how different it is. Mm-hmm. Imagine going from non league. Yeah. I was just a guy playing on ends. Do you <laughs> know what I'm saying? And I went yeah. to uni, went to St. Albans, and then I got I got signed or whatever. So like for me, I always had like, you know, imposter syndrome is like you don't feel like you should be there. Yes. I always felt <coughs> like I sh- I shouldn't I shouldn't be there. So I look hey. back and I'm like, I just wish I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, do you know what I'm I saying? So I, but it's it's good. It's good that um you can you can still enjoy it. Yeah. Um speaking about wolves, obviously, you know, you've got a load of like 
well, I hope you got friends over there at, at the club and stuff like that, and they're not just leaving you alone in the canteen. No, but yeah, um, sure. <laughs> yeah how, how do you look at their season right now and and how it's going? Yeah, I think they're doing well, man. Mm. It's good to see that they're they're the team that it was like at the start when they came to the prem and mm. stuff like that. Like they're doing well, like you know, yeah, they, they look confident. It look like mm. do you know what I mean. So no, it's good to see. It's definitely good to see. Who are the players that you look at and you think in that team? Like, obviously, there's a couple plea people in that team. You've actually wait. When did you go out alone? Did you man? So the new signers that came in, yeah, were you able to actually train with? Anyone? No, because okay. I was in gold car. Oh yeah, you I was. You was. Okay, cool. Okay, so the ones that you kind of have been around and whatever and seen, who are the ones that you, like really impress you and you're like, no, this is a flipping. The ones that are still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones that are still here. Um. I'd say Cunha, obviously. Mm. Neto. Neto is mad. Oh, Neto, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's mad oh, you trained against him. What's it like training against Neto? Yeah. He's a handful so like, it's mm. good. It's yeah. good to play against him, you know. Like, cool. Players like Neto are the ones that they just don't let you relax, man. And literally. Sharp. Literally sharp. Mm. Fast. Can bag, like. You know what I mean? So, him, I'd say Sarabia as well. Fabio Sarabia is... He's got tech and he's smart. Like some of the passes you see it in the Premier, you see him do it in training. Like his passes, like his key passes are good. Like do you know what I mean, but um, yeah, you see a lot of quality in training, a lot of things as well. So <clears throat> I think as well that imposter syndrome stuff it can grow sometimes, but you have to silence it. You have to keep it down and know that you're a good player as well. Yeah, I think um, Sarabia. Well done there, by the way. I know you're just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so those of you that don't know, you're watching it. I've obviously just restarted the cameras. Yeah. So then, um, yeah, I told him to keep talking. And you can see he was like, just going on. But well done, well done. You did well, you did well. But um, yeah. no, you spoke about Sarabi. I just want to go back to that one. Mm-hmm. I think when you're watching like Premier League as well, yeah, mm-hmm. I think that when you're watching on TV, sometimes you can't grasp just how good a player is, yeah. But you see Sarabia, yeah? Mm-hmm. It's a shame because he, he does well. I'm not going to say he don't do well. But sometimes it's like you just feel like the the league or the type of thing doesn't really suit someone's game. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I think he's growing into it, but he's an absolute player. And I think the thing that confirmed it for me, and I think people forget as well where he's been, <coughs> where, like the sort of level he's played at. Yeah. But you see that goal he scored against Tottenham, yeah? You know what I'm talking Which, about? Um, Where I think he made it 1-1 in 90 minutes or something. The touch. The the touch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a, bo- as, a, as a football player, yeah. Yeah. Talk about that touch, please. It's, it's tricky, like. Bro. You're moving and you, you're, he's put it in a place where it's, it's good for him to strike, do you know what I mean? Mm. It's, 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 it's harder than it looks. Bro. It's not, like, it looks simple, but it's hard. That you touch know? was stupid. Mm-hmm. So, like, that's, that's what, for me, I'm not just saying it's now when I put like when I look at some of my favourite goals from this season so far, yeah. that's up there because that's so difficult. Yeah. And he made it look easy, man. <laughs> and that stuff, you can't teach that. Nah. You can't teach either you've got it or you haven't. Mm. But yeah, um Samedo, your direct yeah. um Yeah. Yeah. I think he's I think he's good as well. I yeah. think people forget that um he's also been like at Barca and stuff like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So definitely. but yeah, so obviously next season hopefully well, who knows, you know, who knows what's going to happen. I'm not even going to put that in the air, but all I know is that mm. as long as you continue to keep doing what you're doing and keep playing games and keep playing well, then you've always just put yourself in. Yeah, right. So you've obviously, you're obviously not from Wolves. I've, mm. I've mentioned on the podcast a couple of times mm-hmm. that, you know, South London and everything. So what was that like growing up in South London? South and London. why do you feel like, no, it's not even like, what was it like? But why do you feel like so many ball players come from South London? Like, what is it about? I think, Ireland? first of all, the motivation is the area where you come from. Mm. Like, you want to do good. Mm. You know what I mean? You want to get into a better situation for yourself. And the cages. The cages are mad. <laughs> the, cages, the cages, everywhere you find the cages, there'll be ballers. 100%. Do you know what I mean? 100%. And it's like, physicality, skill, like how to manipulate the ball and things mm-hmm. like that is, it, it just helps so much. You know, um, but yeah, definitely like the free cages. You're just there. That's where you're spending your most of your time. You're mm. just 
playing, playing. Sometimes you don't even realize, but like you're going every day and you're just improving, improving. Exactly. Improving. Imagine, <coughs> like, even how I many when I was young, I used to, I used to go. There's so many I used to go Catford Pits. That was big. Myers. Yeah, Myers. Yeah, Myers was, yeah, was good. Mm. But yeah, um, Tabard. Oh my gosh. But yeah, um, I think. You could have like one summer going football all the time. Yeah, and you're just sharp. Yeah, you're just sharp. Like you Literally. Even, yeah, and, and there's so many different different balls. Like you can probably look at people that you've played with in cages who probably have not, not way more talent, mm. but you look at them and be like, oh no, he, he, he can he can play. And even, even at my age, I've seen yeah, do you, do you get what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, it makes sense why so many people, so many scouts, and everything go to South London to pick up the players. And mm -hmm. and what I would ask you now is one of the, I, w I would say one of the, the better academies in terms of young people is um, Lambeth Tigers, mm -hmm. which is obviously where you've come through. Yeah. What role did Lambeth Tigers play in your um, development and getting you to where you are now? Massive role. Massive role. Mm -hmm. I remember I loved being there. Yeah. I loved being there, especially the, they did the holiday when they did the holiday camps. I always wanted to be there, like mm. MF Tigers quality training. And like there was a Sunday team, Saturday team, but they were they were on it with yeah. training, games, gave me so much opportunities with, with trials yeah. and like other clubs, like with links and that. And um, the people there, like they had time for you. Do you know what I mean? Like Jamal, Ricardo, Bobby. Like there's yeah. loads of there's, there's loads. They're, you know they're good guys, man. There's loads. Like yeah, there's, there's, they're good guys, and um and I, and I, I like seeing success stories like this. And there's so many more. I mean, you're on the pod now, mm -hmm. but there's so many other success stories. And yeah, and I just want people to you know use my platform to to show one of the success stories. And it's not a fluke. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? And and even if you know a a pro opportunity doesn't come, the the just the meeting of people and, you know, the chance to even have something to do outside of being on the street is is something that um, should be applauded. So big yeah. up the guys there, man. No, Lambeth Tigers, definitely. Yeah, big, big up the guys there. So many players go through there, man. Like, yeah. So many young kids. Like, it's... Eve, I remember years ago, I went <coughs> training with them when I, was, when I was trying to keep fit. Just, mm -hmm. I just went training. Listen... You see them kids, I was like, oh, it's gonna be a jolly up. <laughs> no, nah, they're good. Proper. No, 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 no. They're good, they're good, they're good. So yeah. so fair play to them, man. Shout out Bobby, you mad man. I yeah. think they helped me a lot as well. Like mm. even with um I used to train my age and then they would let me train after the mm. age above. Like I think they, they really wanted me yeah. to, to, to get back into the, the academy system or get back into a, a professional system. And I know they had a they had faith in me. They said like good things that made me like okay because there was times I was doubting as well mm. of, of the palace because I got released in it yeah so it sounds like down a bit but they're saying yeah like, do you know what I mean so yeah man definitely yeah no nah, yeah. I love that man so now that <coughs> you know you you've gone to Wolves and they've obviously done their part in in taking you to Wolves mm -hmm. like what was it like when you first signed your professional contract. And number that's the sign your professional contract, but number two, how did it come about you hearing about it? And was it, did you go on trial at, at, at Wolves? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So hearing about the, the trial first, like what was all of that like for you? And how and how quick did it all happen? Well, so I got my scholar first, mm -hmm. and then um, I think I so I signed 14, mm -hmm. but I didn't get a scholar with that sign, like a, you know, when they do the. Promise scholar. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah. didn't get that, mm -hmm. and then got my scholar. I got my scholar late as well, mm. late. And then getting my pro. Um, they brought like a couple of us in. Like there was a couple of us from our age mm. that got their pro because our age, like my our age specifically, was was a good age, you know. Yeah. So um, when I got that, I was happy. Man. Mm. I was happy. Like obviously, you're not a professional footballer. Mm. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Mm. So it was like a, get a like a big, a big milestone, big achievement, you know. So it's like just getting that again. It's like it's like you're you're proud as well because you see your family and that. Mm -hmm. That's what they want for you. Your your my mom moving up and that. Like 
the hard work is paying off. Mm-hmm. You know, so and 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 it's what you you want. It's what your it's what your mum wants for you. Mm-hmm. You know, your dad was what they it's what they want for you. It's it's what you want for yourself. Like you said, the hard work has paid off, and yeah, and like at the same time, it's life changing. Yeah, do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's funny enough. Actually, growing up in South, obviously. You know, you you grew up with whatever circumstances. Mm-hmm. What was you like when you first saw that big that salary cut? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Enter your account. I was happy, still grinning, mm. grinning. St- I was must like, have been. Rah, like, I've never seen this. Yeah, never seen this. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's crazy. Like, it's it's kind of like oh, like it's like a bit like your dream. Obviously, you know you're not dreaming, but it's like this is mad. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, it's, it's life changing, man. I mean, um, I went on your, your I get my head get ready to sign a hundred bag. No, but uh, that's, that's that's cool, man, and, and I love that. And mm. you know, now we've touched on Rotherham, we've touched on growing up, Lambeth Tigers. There's two things I want to touch on before mm. I let you go because I do know you got to get your train back, obviously. Yeah, to Sheffield. Um, first thing. What was it like playing for Jamaica first in the under twenties? Oh. Getting getting called up and doing that in what was it Honduras? Yeah, but I didn't play. I oh, know, no, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No way, we're getting there. We're getting okay, there. Okay, okay, just okay. the call up first. Yeah, no, like brilliant again, like mm. international. Yeah, I mean, you see things. Your work is starting to pay off, mm. you know, to get recognized internationally, even if it's twenty ones level. Mm. Like it's it's still amazing. To be fair, I was, I was gassed, mm. I was happy, you know. I just wanted to get out there and play, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but yeah, just, but yeah. obviously, when you didn't play, yeah, were you left like oh, like disheartened or a little bit? But I knew it was for the best because mm. it was my back. Yeah, and then. I didn't want things to escalate from that. I didn't want to take the risk. Mm. I knew it was the choice mm. that had to be made. Yeah. I knew as well, God that's it. got me. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So it was like, and that preseason that was coming up, mm-hmm. I think it was a preseason. I think it was a preseason. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought that I'd be the first team. Yeah. I think I was. So I was like, when I felt it, I was like, it's a shame. I want yeah. to go and play, you know, but um, it had to, had to, had to rest. Okay. Had to and rest. The reason why I brought that up first, even though I knew you didn't play, mm-hmm. is because, you know, you mentioned God and God's timing is always the right timing. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when there's disappointments, there's always, you know, something greater that's probably going to come from it. Yeah. So now, after that, the disappointment of not being able to play mm-hmm. and um, for whatever reason, yeah, to get in the senior call up. Yeah, it's get me like where it's not, and this one like you played massive part. Mm-hmm. You weren't just there. Well, if I let I let you tell the story when you first got called up here. Number one, how did that one come? Because you were so young, mm-hmm. hadn't played like many first team games. No. Um, yeah. So how did that one come? And was was you expecting to actually play like yeah. you did? Yeah. Is this the Mexico? Yeah. Mexico, okay. Um, that one, I think, you know what it is? Paul Hall actually came and, and, and spoke to us mm. while we was at 21's camp. He said, many of you will get opportunities now. Like, you guys are the future mm. of Jamaica. You'll get opportunities to um, to play and this and that. So I already kind of knew, like, he's looking. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, um, but I think... I made my debut as well after the 21s. Mm-hmm. Is that right? I don't even know. No, no, you did. Yeah. yeah. So according to Wiki. Anyway. Yeah. So the the debut, so I knew that would be like, um, they could be seeing that. But I think I was more focused. I wasn't focused on, at this time I was locking in with God. Mm. And um, I wasn't focused so much on international or, Football, like I was focused on football, obviously, but like mm-hmm. I was reading, praying, finding more about God because I wasn't always Christian. Uh, I was, I was praying I'm and this and that. Just say so you know, that, but go ahead. Uh, and then, and then, um, 
it just came about. It literally just came about. Mm. Like, um, I think one of the scouts, they knew me and then just by them talking, probably the debut helped as well. Yeah. Them seeing me and then they was like, okay, give me a chance. Cause I actually played Trinidad first. Yes. Um, in the friendlies basically. Um, but yeah. And I just remember after, sorry, just to jump ahead. Quickly, no, 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 no. After Mexico, the verse, um, seek, um, me and my kingdom first mm. and all these things will be added to you. And I thought of that after, when the game finished um, against Mexico, I was like, okay, because I was focusing on God, not really focusing on this yeah, and yeah. that and this and that. Mm. And then these things just came about, mm. like, do you know what I mean? Because it was quite, it was quite sudden to be fair, the, the senior call up, you know, um, obviously I knew it was there, but I didn't know I was going to get thrown in like that. And then obviously Mexico, mm -hmm. brass brazy, <laughs> that's crazy like as Tekka like it's mad do you know what I mean yeah in front of like 60,000 people and then obviously I know how first team stuff goes when you're younger mm -hmm. the game goes on if you're doing alright you might get like 10 minutes yeah, 10 yeah, minutes yeah. on the end but he put me on 45 yeah by the grace so that was and I knew like it's a good player I'm playing against the Lozano yeah, for, yeah, yeah. For, um, and then, uh, yeah, I just said, let me just do what I can and do what I know I can do. Mm. And I was like, it's more excitement when you get to that. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. I, I played uh, against Liverpool, against Arsenal, against um, Leeds at this time. And I've, I kind of know what it's about a bit. Yeah. So it's a bit more like excitement. Okay. But still, international football is. is you know, I don't want to say it's bigger or smaller, but yeah. it's different. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's different. Like when you've got man who support this team, that team, that like all coming together and just supporting you yeah. as a nation. Yeah, it's nah. a different kind of different kind of pride. So <clears throat> to get into that, like, even like if we just go ahead and talk about like gold cup, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like to even get into the like gold cup and with the squad you like, have as well, yeah. If I, let, let me talk about that squad because mm -hmm. I don't think people are deep in the it's squad, mad, the squad that you guys actually have right now. <clears throat> like when you look at some of the players who, so let me name my, my brethren first, Maps, mm -hmm. seasoned pro. Yeah. Seasoned, like, yeah, good. Then you've got guys like Damari Gray. Then you've got guys like Ravel when he when he's up there. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you've got like Mikel Antonio. Mm -hmm. Then you've got like Damarlo. Mm -hmm. And you've got Amari Bell. Like, yeah. These are proper players. Do you know what I'm saying? So what's it like with that squad? And what what are the vibes like as well? Good. <laughs> good. Good vibes still. Always, always dancing. Mm. Always music playing, you know. So definitely good vibes. And you see the, the, the type of players mm. we have. We all know. We all know the capability. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We just have to apply it. But yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's always good going out there. Yeah. Definitely. So so when you so when you were playing at, at at the Gold Cup and you got your games and mm -hmm. and even assisted and mm. whatnot, like coming back from that, how much of a how much of a high did it put you on? Even though obviously you didn't like win whatever, yeah. but still you guys did well, man. Yeah, no, nah, definitely it. It's like you have a lot of hope because obviously we we know we're getting closer and closer and closer. We're mm -hmm. performing better and better and better. Mm. Obviously, from international point of view. Like, it gives you hope, okay, next time we can go and do more, you know? Yeah. And then, obviously, coming back to club football, obviously, it gives you more confidence because you've been playing and you're playing against good players as well, mm -hmm. international teams. And, like, when you when you realise what you've done, especially for me, mm -hmm. when I'm young and I'm playing these games and I'm getting minutes and mm -hmm. against these players, like, it's just crazy. Yeah, you know I mean, it's a blessing to play for Jamaica. I'll be real. Like Even like, it's a different like life, like traveling to different countries and yeah, it's and, mad. Yeah, so and and like for you as I don't know how how much you traveled when you were younger and whatnot. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So for you to now like just be traveling, yeah, like like, like seeing different cultures and different countries, like what 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 was that like for you as an experience? Yeah, it's crazy because we went all over. Um, America as well and obviously going to Mexico mm. seeing the different places is just nice like you're seeing like different countries you never knew some countries were like this yeah you never knew it was like this in elsewhere like 
it's definitely good. Like, yeah. It's yeah. enjoyable. Traveling is always nice, man. Yeah, man. I keep, keep, nice. but just listen. I don't need to tell you, but just, just keep enjoying, man. Do you know what I'm saying? Because, listen, if I could turn back the, the years now and, and enjoy that, like, like, I, I would, man. So just enjoy it. Yeah. Within reason, obviously. Don't, don't go and be, nah. and be, and be doing, doing mess up. Nah, but, um, nah, but yeah, not. right. So touch on Jamaica. The last thing I do want to talk about, and this one is the one that of everything that I want to talk to you about, for me, this is the most important one. Mm-hmm. It's about your walk with Christ. Yeah. So when I saw that, I'm a man that's like, <coughs> I'm not going to push Christ on you all the time. You know, ah, give your life to date. Like, <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm not going to do that. But yeah. I'm a man that when I see certain things, I have to appreciate it. Mm-hmm. So um, obviously I saw when you got baptised mm-hmm. and what was that like for you? Like, I mean, not, not, it's not even like, what was that like for you? But what made you take the decision? Well, not made you, because mm. obviously we, we know, but um, yeah, just, just what, what was it like being baptised and the feeling of, of having it done? Oh, it's good, man. It's refreshing, you know? Yeah. It's like, um, cause obviously I had given my life, I was living well, mm-hmm. time. And then I finally got to that, decided to get baptised because obviously... It's in London, my church. Yeah. And I wanted to do it with them. Mm. And I just had to wait until I was in London. I had time. Oh, okay, and they were okay. doing the baptism. Mm. So that was good. It was because I waited long as well to do it. It was mm. just like fresh for breath of fresh air, you know, it's like yeah. it's finally done. So Yeah, no, I've, I've, and I and I I do just really <laughs> love that. And how do you stay with so many distractions? How do you stay like in the word and mm. and also what has how has your faith kind of not affected, that helped mm. your performances and, and what does it mean for you? Yeah, okay. Um, right, boy, you're ready to talk. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, definitely. Like, um, with, uh, with my faith, like, oh, it's, been, it's been a great help. I'd say from when I first gave my life to, when I first started to like pattern up, mm. not even giving my life, just pattern up, like, and pray and do more like uh doors started to open mm. like within football doors started to open more reading more understanding it um it takes so much pressure of football like you know that the football is not um the beat all and end all mm. the only thing in life and it works both ways because god works good like mm. he knows you love the sport but you he make like you know it's not the beat be all and end yeah. all. So it takes pressure off you. So now you're playing well, mm. even though you're not idolizing football, mm. but you're still playing weller than you would have yeah. if you were idolizing football. Mm. If that makes sense. But equally as well, <clears throat> it just lets you know that, like, you still love football though. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? That's like, why you don't love football because you obviously still love football. Yeah. But you just know that when there's something greater within you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, you could just go from strength to strength. And Definitely. I'm glad, I'm glad you say that because, um, I do feel mm. as well. And, and I'm just gonna have a moment of transparency. I'm, I'm in a space now where like, I'm starting to get back to like the old self, you know, being on fire mm. and whatever. So, mm. and, um, and I, and I noticed that when you do, you know, get right in your faith, like you said, doors were just, yeah. just open. I kid you not. So I went for new year service, and it was a good service, man. You know, even before that, I was like, yes, I'm back, I'm back. But then hadn't been to church in a while, mm. went to church. And then I was like, yes, like, I'm good. And I noticed that my drop-off coincided with, like, even my podcast and stuff that I was doing, it weren't as consistent as, you know, doors weren't opening, like, whatever. Mm-hmm. Listen, I kid you not, the day after service, yeah, mm-hmm. I think it was like, maybe the next day, <coughs> Out of nowhere, I just saw you follow me. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I just saw you follow me. And I was just yeah. like, oh, let me get you on this side. I've been trying to, yeah, I'm going to be talking to Bob. Yeah. To, to get, Bob's a, he's a joke, man. But, <laughs> but like, he's my guy, he's my guy, he's my guy. Yeah. And then out of nowhere, just boom. And straight away, I was just like, people are going to be like, no, that's just a coincidence. Yeah. But no, in my head, I was just like, it's not a coincidence. No coincidence. That's just like a speck yeah. of, of what could happen. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So, yeah. so yeah, no, no, I, I fully understand when, when you say that. And, you know, um, I'm 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 happy when I hear that stuff. Like yeah. even when I watch 
um, when I go online and I see that like, ballers in God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like ballers in God good. are they're really, really good. Man. Good, bro. Yeah, no, they're they're really, really good. And seeing people who who are just like you, yeah. who are going through the same things, because I think it can be hard when you're a professional footballer and mm-hmm. stuff like that and trying to maintain a walk when there's so many distractions, so many things that, you know, might not go for you. Yeah. Like, what kind of, oh, not, what's the, like, how encouraging yeah. is that page for you and, and the work that they do? Uh, definitely a lot. Like, funny enough, I gave my life to Christ there. Um, oh, really? On the board and God with, with John. Um, oh, wow. But I wasn't involved in it. Mm. Um, in the middle. Yeah. But then recently I went back. Yeah. And I went on one of the, um, Raf, Raf invited me and I went on one of the uh, meetings and it was mm. good. Yeah. And I went to the prayer meeting as well, like two days before mm. um, the uh, New Year's. Yeah. And it was just good. Like yeah. praying deeply and like, oh, that's just good. And they're consistent with it as well. Yeah. They're consistent with it. Like it's, 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 it's definitely a good, big platform motivating. Like you feel like you have people, you know, and yeah. especially in football, football world can be mad. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You no, know, whatever. I but, can imagine. Yeah. So, and what what I do like as well is like <coughs> you're surrounded by king folk. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're surrounded by people that, that know exactly what it is and, and that in itself can be encouraging. And there's people from all different teams, different levels and Literally. whatever. So Literally. yeah, man, yeah, we're all one at the end of the day. Yeah. So I I do love and I felt like it was important for you to to come in here and share that. Mm-hmm. So um, I purposely kept that um, last just so that I can speak about it properly because I was yeah. never going to let you come off this podcast without, yeah, yeah, yeah. without talking talking on Christ because no, I, I just think it's it's important and, and there's there's a lot of people out there who might, you know, be in that position as well. Yeah. They might be in that position who, who also don't know that, you know, there's others, at, you know, there's more people like us out there. So, definitely. yeah, it's definitely important to just come out and, and share that, man. I think but love. Go on. I think as well, like with the distractions bit you said as well. Um, I think like putting God first above everything, like really doing it, will help you so much with the distractions mm. because it's like you need to do this, you need to do this. You're busy being fruitful, so you can't be unfruitful. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I think a lot putting God first, really doing it because sometimes yeah. obviously it's easy to say. I put him first, but then you do something else, whatever. Yeah. But if you prioritize it, I need to do this. I need to do that. Um, you'll be blessed, and it'll be easier with distractions because obviously football world there's gonna be mad distractions. Oh man, <laughs> <This, laughs> yeah. I mean, but you, yeah. you know, you, you got you got a good head on your shoulders. You sound like you got a good support system, man. And, yeah. and I pray that it continues, man, because yeah. I honestly do believe that you will go far. Yeah, not and you. not even just on ability alone. But yeah. just attitude. Attitude is a big part. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. They don't teach you that, but you learn that attitude is, is a massive part. And you've got the yeah. attitude and the minerals to to go far, man. And I just mm-hmm. you know hope and pray that it continues, man. I'm not yeah. gonna say I hope and pray that it comes because I know it's coming. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I like yeah. I just you know let it continue, man. So yeah, man. Thank you for coming on. No problem. Can I say one thing as no, well? No, it's done. No, <laughs> 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 um, I say as well the people behind me. Brilliant. Mm. Agent, Yuban, like. Oh, Yuban's your agent? Yuban's my agent. Okay. And Rob introduced me to him, Michael Brady. Okay. Like, people, Jamal, David, like, all of them. Yeah, man. I've had good people in my life. By Even though grace. Jamal, let me, let, me, let, me, let me say this. So it's got Jamal, yeah. I'm going to say this on my podcast now, me and him beef. Is it? He's a Liverpool fan. Like, <laughs> even, me and him beef so hard in our group. I love him to bits, though. He's my guy. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I did. We're not bigging him up on my no, I'm joking. No, I'm big about big about. But yeah, no, I didn't know Yubin's your your agent. Yeah, he's, he's so good. Yubin, very good. You probably won't even remember me. Yubin, I first went to him. Yeah. And he took me to Jamie Lawrence. Okay, yeah, yeah. He yeah. took me to Jamie Lawrence when I was younger. Yeah. And then as things worked out, I ended up going elsewhere and whatever. Yeah. But um no, Yubin, good guy, man. Yeah. Good guy. Has he still got um Lost this week? I don't know. Oh, okay, cool. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know Yubin's your agent, man. Yeah, oh. he's my agent. He's he done me. He's done me. You tell me well still. Oh, okay, no, that's good, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. <coughs> but yeah, um, love for coming on. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Um, I don't know what else to say, man. It's been it's been a good podcast, man. It's been a pleasure. I've been bro. trying to get you on for a while, like I said. Yeah. And you know, it happens. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. So um, yeah, man. 
What's your What's your goals for the rest of the season? Just mm-hmm. to keep playing, keep playing well. Literally, keep keep playing well mm-hmm. and play freely. Enjoy, yeah. you know, uh, play as well as I can. Get as many games as I can. Mm. Um, still, with the end of the season, I played a decent amount of games, but can never have enough, enough games. You know, yeah, as I'm still young, so just gaining more, <laughs> gaining more experience. But yeah, that'll be it. So yeah, we just had a little bit of a technical Just had to <laughs> um, hold this mic But yeah, no, in wrapping up guys um, Yeah, like I said, love for coming on Guys, I told you, 2024 Like, I'm saying this now It's going to be a crazy year Amen. So the, the thing that made me number one In terms of getting players on the pod We're going to get back to that we're going to get them on and we're just going to just keep enjoying, man. And keep having... Sorry, guys. Liverpool just almost scored. I'm, I'm moving mad. I'm moving mad. <laughs> but yeah, no. Yeah, so guys, obviously, you know how we do here. It's not overly produced. It is just what it is. Um, you keep liking, subscribing, sharing. I'm going to start engaging more and more on the pages. I'm going to start bringing on way more players, like I keep saying. I'm going to start showing you the work I do with MLS, with ESPN, with Sky. All of that. Cause I don't document that on my yeah. channel enough. So, um, yeah, man. Here's the 2024. Happy New Year, Dexter. Love for coming. Thank you. Pleasure. Cool. Oh.